Hey guys, RC Nigel here. Today I'll be doing a quick video on beginner RC drones and helicopters. So first I'm going to start with my favorite drone and that is the SEMA X5C. And as you can see I have two SEMAs. So I have the SEMA X5C Explorers which is this one on the right side and then I have the SEMA X5C. Um, these, th these SEMA quads have different rankings. There's the SEMA X5C and then there's the SEMA X5, I mean SEMA X5 is before the X5C, and then there's the SEMA X5C um, Explorers, and I think the newest one is the SEMA X5C-1. So none of these I have um, are the Dash 1, and I think what the Dash 1 is better is it's, it looks exactly the same and it performs the same. The only thing that's different is um, it can handle the wind a little bit better. So that's the difference. Um, when you buy this thing brand new, you should get the quad and the camera. And on the Explorers, I did, but this one I bought for $30 without anything, turn a transmitter, just the quad. And now on Amazon, they have the, the SEMA XLC Explorers for $40, and it comes brand new with a camera that works, an SD card, battery charger, and I think a battery. So I consider this deal better. I like the X5C Explorers. When you're flying, it's really good. It's very easy to fly. It's not hard and it's super durable. Um, the only thing is the camera is okay. It shoots at 720 HD, which they consider HD, but I consider HD 1080p. So I mean, the camera's pretty good. Um, if you're opening it on like a really big screen, it's gonna look pretty bad. But if you have it in like the YouTube size, it looks pretty sharp and clear. And then it comes with a four gigabyte SD card. Very easy to use. Um, I've heard some people saying there's problems like the camera doesn't work. Well, the easiest way to fix that problem is to format the SD card because if you do a lot of videos and pictures, it will clog it up and then it won't do any videos. So the drone's really nice. When you take off the camera, it performs much faster and there's two modes on the transmitter. There's high rates, low rates, and it can also do flips. So it has a lot of stuff put into it. My second favorite drum drone is the Pico QX. This is a small nano kind of thing and it performs really good. It can do double flips and it's really fast so it's a good beginner drone. Although these, once you get better at flying these smaller ones, you'll be really good at flying the nice ones. So this one's a good one. I like it a lot. The only thing is I broke a motor because this is my first drone to get so I broke it really easily. But it's a good drone once you have it. My other one, this one still works, is the SEMA, I mean it's the Rise Hobby Phase. It's a really nice one. It's like the Pico QX and it can do the flips and rolls and everything. The only thing with this one is I broke a little light on it. So as you can see, it's kind of blinking, not blinking. Um, I heard that's really easy to fix. I just haven't had the time to fix it. So this one's a good one. It's fun. It flies. It does the flips. And it has three modes on the transmitter. And it can go really fast too. I've also taken it outside and it performs pretty good in the wind. Um, so right here I got my beginner helicopter. This is the SEMA S107. Uh, very basic, easy to fly, kind of those helicopters you see at like Walmart or something, not anything special. This is a double bladed one which is increased stability and it has a stability bar to keep it all nice and stable. It's very stable. Um, it has a little cool light on it. It's good for little kids if they want something like this. And it's extremely durable, so it will not break when you first get it. Although some helicopters, like with a swash plate, can break. Like this one I have here. Right here I have the SEMA SG-800. 800G. This is an upgraded version of the SEMA S-107. It's um, the same speed, but it can do cyber flying. The other one can't, it just does turning, so if I wanted to go left or something, it would ha it would automatically turn and then go left. So it's a little upgraded, it can do cyber flying, it also has a cool little swash plate right here. That thing I'm moving right here is a swash plate. So it's an upgrade version for about, I think $30, and the uh, CMS 107 is 15 So that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please leave a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.